Hello, my name is Quinn Henry, and I will be presenting my oral presentation on the Boone and Crockett Club. So, the Boone and Crockett Club was founded in 1887 by Teddy Roosevelt. It is the oldest wildlife conservation organization in North America. Boone and Crockett is also an American nonprofit organization that advocates fair chase hunting, along with many other ethical and environmental policies. Um, we talked about in class nonprofit organizations, and a nonprofit is a business that has been granted tax exempt status by the IRS because it furthers a social cause and provides a public benefit. The club started to save wildlife at, wild, at Yellowstone um, as Teddy Roosevelt was out and hunting and going out for big game he noticed that a lot of the animals he was looking for were no longer around. And there's also the bear story where he was out on a hunt and someone tied a bear up for him to kill and he refused to kill it. He just thought it was unethical. Um, before the club's policies were Im implemented, there was an unrestricted killing of wildlife for profit, the expansion westward, and Native American conflicts all taking a major toll on the environment. The club was founded by Teddy Roosevelt and George Bird Grinnell. In addition to these founders, many other professionals, experts, and politicians worked in helping the Boone and Crockett Club. One of them was Gifford Pinchot, who we talked about in class. And the, the mission statement for the Boone and Crockett Club it is the mission of the Boone and Crockett Club to promote the conservation and management of wildlife, especially big game and its habitat, to preserve and encourage hunting and to maintain the highest ethical standards of fair chase and sportsmanship in North America. And this is a quote from Teddy Roosevelt, and this was a message to Congress in December of 1907. To waste, to destroy our natural resources, to skin and exhaust the land instead of using it, so as to increase its usefulness will result in undermining in the days of our children the very prosperity which we ought by right to hand down to them amplified and developed. The, so the club also created the fair chase, um, which is used for hunting. The fair chase is the ethical, sportsmanlike, and lawful pursuit and taking of any free-ranging wild big game animal in a manner that does not give the hunter an improper or unfair advantage over the game animals. The fair chase idea was created over 100 years ago and is still used today. However, each state has their own laws as to like what is legal and what is illegal. Some states, you can do something that's totally legal, you cross the state border and you would be arrested for it as far as hunting and how to kill animals. Um, there are principles that the Boone and Crockett Club established that go along with the fair chase. And these principles, there are nine of them. For the first one, knows and obeys the laws and insists others do. Two, understands that it is not only just about what is legal, but also what is honorable and ethical. Three, defines unfair advantage as when the game does not have reasonable chance of escape. Four, cares about and respects all wildlife and the ecosystems that support them, which includes making full use of game animals taken. Five, measures success not in the quantity of game taken, but by the quality of the chase. Six, embraces the no guarantees nature of hunting. Seven, uses technology in a way that does not diminish the importance of developing skills as a hunter or reduces hunting to just shooting. Eight, knows his or her limitations and stretches the stalk, not the shot. Nine, takes pride in the decisions he or she makes in the field and takes full responsibility of his or her actions. So these are kind of like morals and guidelines that the Boone and Crockett Club established that not only are just written, but people should kind of take into consideration while, while hunting. Um, so the club also has 
conservation efforts. They're not only just a hunting club. They've helped establish new policies and laws and also kind of birthed other clubs that strictly focus on conservation. Um, the conservation efforts, uh, they have three kind of major bullet points that they had on their website and one is develop technology research and incentives to understand and promote sound natural resource conservation practices Two, educate all segments of society from hunters to hikers of their opportunities and responsibilities regarding natural resources and the third is demonstrate and practice sound and sustainable land management and the conservation efforts continue with they also take on climate change wolf delisting and chronic wasting disease the Boone and Crockett Club also is the champion of the earliest science-based wildlife management efforts and legislation including the National Wildlife Refuge System Act and the creation of the cooperative fish and wildlife research units the future for wildlife and natural resource conservation now rests with the private citizens who own and work the land. By 2050, the human population of the United States alone is projected to increase by 40% to 340 million. Thus, the threats to wildlife habitats we see today increase human population, division of large ranches into ranchettes with no conservation considerations, intense demands on resources, the growing recreational demands of a society craving the outdoor experience, and government policies that at times appear to be in conflict will cause our conservation system to break down unless action is taken. And that was a direct quote from the Boone and Crockett website. Um, and two of their major kind of conservation achievements are in August of 2000, the club organized a historical conservation summit that has, a major, that has a major effect on the future of wildlife. The meeting resulted in the foundation of the American Wildlife Conservation Partners, AWCP, a coalition of 35 wildlife organizations representing more than 4.5 million hunters slash conservationists. The AWCP was formed for the purpose of building unity, identifying key wildlife issues, and developing a vision for wildlife in the 21st century and beyond. The Boone and Crockett Club was instrumental in the development of the wildlife for the 21st century. This document, which represents a general agreement of the American Wildlife Conservation Partners, was later presented to George Bush. Uh, in addition, the club most recently launched the Boone and Crockett Conservationist Campaign, designed to continue the club's conservation legacy of defining, teaching, and advocating the rules and policies of conservation, education, hunter and conservation ethics, and big game records keeping and recognition. This tax deductible program funds the Boone and Crockett Club and Down Chair in Wildlife Conservation and gives grants and scholarships. And as far as hunting and along with the fair chase principles, the Boone and Crockett Club also has big game record system. Uh, aligned with their principles and ethics, the Boone and Crockett Club also maintains the records for big game in North America to determine the success of conservation efforts. Today, the club has competitions that hunters can enter and submit their antlers and skulls that then get judged and scored. And if they pass and get, get a high enough score, they get invited to an annual banquet um, so how to become a member of the Boone and Crockett Club, you can pay the $35 fee and you then are a member, you get uh, access to their databases, photos, and just kind of like the, the tag and idea of being a member. And without the Boone and Crockett Club, we would most likely not have any big game animals left, along with many of the policies put in place to protect our natural environment. At the time, there was just no laws at all people could just hunt and kill as many animals as they wanted which it was taking a huge toll on the environment so without teddy roosevelt and the boone and crockett club who knows what what animals and what the environment would look like have a good day